Hello and welcome back to the channel. Does your Salesforce org struggle with inconsistent naming conventions? So much so that your sales managers have a hard time understanding what deal the reps are referring to based on the name, or maybe a few reps that are big fans of caps locks? In today's video, we'll discuss how to create a flow that standardizes your opportunity names so that your sales manager or CEO can get the majority information they need by just reading the opportunity name. I like to start with account name, then the opportunity type, a short description of the deal, and then followed by close date. Three of these fields are standard, but the description field is something we all need to add. We can do so by going to the gear up to the top, edit object, fields and relationships, click new. The type of field here I want is a text area, click next, call our field transaction description, and then I'm going to make this required. Click next, next, and then save data to the layout. Now that we have our format decided and all the fields that we need available, let's create our flow to automate this all. In the search bar, type flow, select flows here, and then create a new flow. This will be a record trigger flow. Click create. And the object we're looking at is opportunity. And anytime a record is updated or created, and we'll have an or condition here. And I want to add this as fast fields and updates. And for our fields, we're going to say account is changed equals true, or transaction description is changed equals true, or close date is changed equals true. And then our last field was type. Type is changed equals true. And then click done. So the next step here is to create our formula that will output our opportunity name that we want. We'll go to the top left and click toggle toolbox and then create a new resource. This type will be a formula. The name we'll just call name. Data type is gonna be text. And we'll start by adding a resource. We'll do record, account, and then find our account name. Click this. We'll do a plus here to add some more. I'm going to do some formatting here. Um, a plus, and then our next field is going to be type. So the type is a pick list, so I'm going to put a text in front of it. Um, record and then just find the type field here, insert it, and then close my text. Plus, do my formatting again. Plus, and then we'll add our transaction description. Record here. Plus, our formatting here, and then we'll finish it with close date, which is close date. Here, and this is also a date and we're outputting a text so I want to put text here as well and close that off. So now to accommodate our friends who enjoy the caps locks I'm going to add a function here. Um, it starts with in, in cap and what it does is it returns the text as lowercase with the first character of each word made uppercase. So perfect here we'll do that and then just close this off. This will prevent people from just typing in all caps locks, which is great. And we'll check our syntax, looks valid, and then click done. So now that we have our formula created, we'll go ahead and create the record update. So we'll click plus, update triggering record. We'll do this as update name, make sure it looks good. Field to update is just name. Here, select our formula, done. Go ahead and save this. So opportunity separation name. And then click save. Let's go up here and activate it as well. And then let's test our flow to make sure it works. So from our opportunity, we'll add a transaction description here. Let's say an add-on. And we could try it on all capitalizations to make sure that part is working as well. 
click save. And it looks like our opportunity name was automatically reformatted as we wanted. So the account name, the type, the transaction description, which we entered in all caps, it reformatted it for us, and then the close date. So now navigating back to my opportunity list view, you can see the glaring differences between the opportunity names that are formatted and then the ones that are not. You can easily see the account name, the close date, what type of deal it is, and a brief description of what's happening within the deal. So if you found this video useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you.